Hello, this is Kevin with Earthway Experience, and today I wanted to do a short video about some books that uh, recommend for reading. Uh, right now it's winter time, uh, but and I have my pile of books next to the bed, so that made me think about it. But they're good books to read anytime. And uh, first, uh, show you here we have uh, you know really a, a good just all around, you could say, must have Introduction to Permaculture, uh, and this is uh, from Bill Mollison. And actually, this is not the newest edition, but if you go to their uh, website here, uh, oh, it's backwards here. Uh, if you just add a .com to that, T-A-G-A-R-I dot com, they actually have a new version of this, but from what the website said, all they did was change the cover. Nothing on the inside is the same, and it was a little bit cheaper. I think you can uh, even go to Amazon.com, and if you do want to, want to, you can look at our website, and I have a, a link with Amazon, and we get a small, small, small commission. So um, this book goes into zones and principles, and if you want to do some permaculture, uh, around your house or land or whatever you might have. Uh, this is highly, highly recommended. Um, uh, this is going to be a short list. There's tons of, tons of books that, that are out there. But I really, uh, I got this uh, here in the uh, summertime and I've just been getting a chance to read through it and it's called Mycelium Running and uh, the, here we see here, Paul uh, Stamets, S-T-A-M-E-T-S, -E and uh, How Mushrooms Can Save the World. And I really like this book. I'm, I'm only uh, yeah, a third of the way into it right now, but he talks about uh, quite a bit about uh, mushrooms. And, and if you're familiar with permaculture, you know, um, mycelium mushrooms, the... Uh, they're really important for, for permaculture. They, they add a lot to our soil. So if you want to learn a little bit more, how to grow them, how to um, prepare them, and things like that, this is a really, really good book. And uh, you can almost call this man here the grandfather of permaculture. But really, um, mas, masanak, I, I can't, uh, I'm not good at pronouncing, but The One Straw Revolution. It was written back in the late 70s. He started his own uh, way of growing, and it was back in the 30s and 40s. He started experimenting, and, uh, and he finally wrote this book, and he said, you know, it just takes one person and one more person, one more person, and we start out. And uh, what I really like about it, um, it says here, call it the Zen and the Art of Farming, or the Little Green Book, the manifesto about farming, eating, and the limits of human knowledge, presents a radical challenge to our global systems we rely on for food. At the same time, it is a spiritual memoir of a man whose innovative system of cultivating the earth reflects a deep faith in the wholeness and balance of the natural world. And uh, a really, really good book. Uh, quite a short read. Uh, again, Amazon, other places. But uh, just something to kind of get your mind flowing and in wrapping it around. Okay, what is permaculture? What... Uh, uh, how does one live it? And this is the way this man was living it. Well, thank you for watching, and have a good day. Bye now.